Jill's Bronco Badlands is a fully loaded, top spec Bronco. While mine, on the other hand, is a poverty spec <laughs> Black Diamond. We're gonna fix that little by little. Starting with this from Boost Auto. I'm Sean. That's Jill, and this is 151 Garage. Are you okay? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so what I mean by some of the things, I didn't want anything on this that I was gonna obviously replace. I didn't want the Sasquatch because I knew I was gonna replace the suspension, pretty much all of it. Now, I, I didn't get the lockers in the front for obvious reasons. It doesn't come unless you get the whatever. I didn't wanna pay all the extra money for it. Yeah. As well as the interior and everything else all the components that usually come on her car i didn't worry about i didn't want i knew mine was gonna be a little bit different and i was gonna replace probably 75 percent of the stuff and it would be a complete waste of money the one couple things i really liked with her car after driving it for such a long time is the wireless charging pad that's on the front they should all come that way i don't know why that's such a hard thing to do has put them all on there. I don't know. But Boost Auto came and sent us a wireless charging pad for my Bronco. They felt sorry for me. They felt <laughs> bad that I got the poverty stricken Bronco and she got the fully loaded. Tell who uh, runs the family. <laughs> Please. But anyways, we're gonna go through the process of installing this, seeing how it works and actually being able to use this. Now, the kind of neat thing about this is it has a really wide area where you can put your phone. It's not just one in the center, it's three. So you, it's pretty good. And as far as fitment, we've thrown it in there just to see how it fits. This is the mat that comes out of the Bronco. This is the actual pad. It's perfect. It's a perfect fit. I yeah. mean, uh, they probably took the mat and made the template out of that. Yeah, so it's it's a good fit. We but just have to install it. Another reason why he's going to put that in this one, and the reason why he really likes the wireless is because the charging port on the bottom of his iPhone, it doesn't work really that well anymore. You have to really jiggle it and hold it in like the right way to like have it connect, and then hope that it doesn't get bumped <laughs> but if you put it on a wireless charger it connects it charges and it's good so he needed one now we do i mean i could clean that but i've already cleaned it multiple times and it, 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 it just work. gets dirty because it puts in my pockets i work i throw it in my pocket dirt gets in there anybody who's gone through that process already knows it's kind of a pain in the butt going to the store paying somebody or having somebody clean it out and stuff. The wireless charging pad I use everywhere else except for the car, mm -hmm. uh, the other cars. Mine will get that. And yes. again, thank you, Boost Thank you, Auto. Boost Auto. Uh, Boost Auto, we will definitely install this and show you guys just what the process is. Mm. So. so before we start, let's go through what comes in the package you get. You get the wireless charging station. You get the pad that covers it. Now, granted, this does have the four things, so it is sit just like that. You do get a wiring harness, a plug that goes from your car to the wiring harness, and the installation hardware. These are uh, self-tapping screws. Now, we ended up getting a Boost Auto sticker. You do have a Boost Auto koozie and a Boost Auto keychain available at extra expense uh pretty a simple yeah get a magnet oh, oh that's a magnet i thought it was a card and the business card if i can grab it and get the business card oh. what's it i didn't know this. i thought that was just another business card i didn't know it was a magnet <laughs> i didn't know either until i laid it out <laughs> anything else metal handcuffs there's nothing to smell handcuffs oh yep 
<laughs> as she throws it. Well, we may explain those later on. <laughs> you had to grab those. It was the only metal thing here. I, I and you <laughs> couldn't grab anything other than the handcuffs. Well, the okay, really anyways, moving on. Away. Let's get to the install. Okay, so to get this out, so you can actually do all the wiring and installation, we're gonna show you the process. Obviously, the handle needs to come off. There is a plate that's under here, and I'll show you in a second, that needs to come out, as well as this black piece right here. Two screws, four clips, and a whole bunch of clips here. There is a bunch of plugs, and we'll get into that in a second. Let's go ahead and start with the handle. Take this out, use your handy panel removal tool kit. I suggest get one if you don't have one. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of scratched up panels. Now on this, all it is is just a quick tug like that. Go through the process of pulling this part out. This, I'll say this now, this should be easy. There you go. So the one thing is you will have to put this in neutral. Oh my God. Stop. Boys, shut up. Okay, so we got the console off. Now you have to unplug the shifter cable here, as well as a cable for the goat modes. Up. Here, um, I'll, I'll get it, I'll okay. get it. So. Okay, how you take this off, there are two screws right here. So these two small screws, they go in the very front. One right there, one right there. Now that goes over this, it just basically holds it together. Um, Phillips head, you can get a small stubby Phillips head in there to get it out. You don't need anything special. If you have one of these, it usually comes in every screwdriver kit that I've ever gotten. I have probably over have two dozen of these. There are tons. Um, they, they actually came in handy this time. As well as that, there's a plug in the very front. It is right here. You have this plug, which is for your goat modes, which is right there. And you have these two plugs. These two plugs are for your, like your charger port, which is over here, as well as the other power cable, which goes right there. So it's four plugs total, two screws, and a whole bunch of clips. Now that you have this out, you can go ahead and do the install. So yeah, you lift it up and then you'll unplug all this and then you just pull it straight up. And then that's what you're left with. Yep. Now that we're seeing this right side up, here's your goat modes. Here's your shifter, obviously without the bar on it. This is the switches that he's talking about, which are USBs. So you'll have the two here, the screws here, and the plug here, as well as the little plug here. Yep. So now he's going to grab whatever he needs here. Yeah, and this will go directly like this. I'll go in here. So once I drill the hole in, it'll go right there. Put this four screws in and then the pad will go over the entire thing pressed in you'll still be able to access this once everything's set and then we'll go through the installation process of this and the wiring here in a second okay now that we have the center console out we went ahead and removed this what this is is the blanking plate for the stock wireless charger that would come in if you actually upgraded to whatever Lux package or anything like that. Not all Broncos come with this. I know the Big Ben we have doesn't have it, nor do the base models. This one, the Black Diamond comes with it, and I believe every other model above that. So we remove this. All it takes is four T20 screws, which Joel flip over. It's Right here, I went ahead and put them back because 
Last thing I wanna do is when I try to put it back on, try to figure out where I put these screws. Put them back in the same place. They don't get in the way. You'll never lose them. Now, the one thing with this is this is what you're taking out and this is what you're putting back in. I bet money that if I was able to get my hands on another one of these, I could possibly fit it inside this. The only problem is I want to put this in the way they basically to. instructed to, to show you just how easy it is. This might be a lot more work. If I ever get another one of these, I'll try to fit it in here. I'll let you know if I ever do. Now, I tells you to go ahead and drill a hole for this, which you don't have to anymore because there's a giant hole there right now. All you have to do is slide it in there. And there are four screws that come in the package. They're self-tapping screws that you can put in there. This pad, while it fits the original opening, it's a lot bigger because it's angled up this way. So you use this pad, which one allows you to use the button right here, as well as the lights that are underneath it. There's a button right there. Oh. So. Ain't that groovy. Yeah, and it fits perfectly where the opening is. It's not too big, it's not too small. Now I did pull this out, I will have to put this back in and we'll show you the rest of the stuff on the inside. Before you go to install everything, this is the two plugs you need. Since this is a wiring harness built for multiple items, this right here you do not need. So the last thing you wanna do is have this touch metal ground out or anything like that. You will use some electrical tape, just tape up the entire thing. That way it doesn't short out and stays out of the way. There you go. Easy as that. So we'll go ahead and go inside and start the install on the inside. For the next part, we're gonna hook up to this wire. So this right here is one of the USB plugs. We're gonna use the wires off of this. Now, if you look at it with the yellow on this side and the white on this side, it's one, two, three, four. So the yellow is number one, number two is blank, the purple is number three, the white is number four. This right here, the yellow one is the power and the white one is the ground for when you hook up this right here. Red to yellow, black to white. So let's go ahead and put these on. Now, all these are, are basically spliceless connectors. You don't have to splice into it or anything like that. All you do is just like that. Go ahead and put one on the other side. There you go. So now when you connect it, remember, Yellow is your power. That's the red one. Slide it in there. Black is the ground. Goes to the white wire. Now, what we can do, this is the harness that came with it. Right there. This goes just like this and then we'll grab the other piece and hook it up and verify everything works before I put everything back together I want to verify that it does charge how it does get power so we'll be right back now that we have this in here before we put anything together to make sure everything works we are going to go ahead and plug this up so the car is on and right now You see charging and the light is blue. Now, there's a little button in the center. You press it. 
Hang on. You can press it in there. There you go. So you see the red light? Mm-hmm. That right there is one of the things. Once you put it on there, the red light goes out, blue light goes on. Oh, cool. You can also turn it so there's no light on. And then it charges the blue light on. Now the third the third set is you can turn it completely off that way it doesn't do anything. So I'm not gonna worry about that because I always want it to be on. I'd rather not have the light on there all the time. I'd rather just have it like that. Comes on. So okay, we'll go ahead and put this back together and we'll be right back. So now that we have everything put back in, verify that it works one last time. Put it in there, blue light shows up, comes on, starts charging. One step away from poverty spec. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Boost Auto. Okay. <laughs> All jokes aside, we bought the Bronco of her dreams because we had to get rid of her original Bronco, the 86 Bronco, because of the cancer that was going on. This is the Bronco that she picked out from the time she was recovering before she even had surgery and everything like that. So, you know, I picked mine out because I knew I was going to do a lot of modifications. So I picked it without a lot of things missing that I knew I would re either replace or get later on such as the wireless phone charger that Boost Auto sent us. Absolute wonderful product. Uh, easy to install. Very easy. The hardest thing about the installation process is getting the center console out. Yeah. But the whole thing of hooking it up and getting it wired up and installing it is absolutely... It's simple. Simple. It's really easy. Um, thank you again for sending it out. Yeah, we really appreciate it. We really yeah. like the product. Uh, I'm glad I have it in mind <laughs> because my phone's usually yeah, the, dead. The plug on the end where you put the cord in, it doesn't work on his very well. So we no. always have it on a pad somewhere now. There are a couple things with the process, the installation process of the actual center console piece. Do not forget the wiring connections the one on the goat modes the two in the back yeah. that actually hook up to the usb, USB ports. ports and then the one that goes on the gear shifter also make sure to put on the two screws, the, yeah, the screws. that go on the gear shifter if you do it my way mm -hmm. we had to take it back apart because we forgot one and don't Wipe go out. hot and heavy on the handle that's right there, the grab bar on the passenger side. Yeah. The screws are not meant to be torqued down, so I would probably recommend just doing it by hand instead of a drill. So just don't she do that. She did it pretty good. Um, if you do do the drill, go really slow with it. Don't be the and then risk cracking the surrounding part of your console. Yeah. Just saying that. But again, it is very, very easy yeah. to install. The product itself works perfectly awesome. as advertised. Uh, I, like I said, my phone when I'm coming to and from work is being used uh, mainly to talk to her and his and family, my family and stuff. So it's usually dead when I get home, <laughs> or while I'm at work, it's dead because work stuff. Yeah. So, but. He's on the phone a lot. <laughs> yeah. Got to check out my latest YouTube videos. <laughs> Anyways, uh, again, thanks Boost Auto for sending it to us. I uh, really appreciate it. And hope to see you guys yeah. next video. Recommend them. Well, I'll put a link down and everything. Yeah, we'll put everything down below for this. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.